Hello, my name is Amanda DiCardi, and I am a teaching and learning coordinator here at the American Embassy School. Later on today, you will be receiving the MAP results from our fall administration of this assessment. This is a short tutorial um, telling you how to read those MAP results when you get them later today. Measures of academic progress is what MAP is. We are measuring growth and progress for each student. The one thing that we want to be clear about is this is one single snapshot in time. It is one assessment from a plethora of assessments that we use in class and out of class for your students. For the MAP results, we do not focus on the percentiles as they do not inform instruction. What informs instruction for us is the RIT scale. This RIT scale is what we call the Ready for Instruction Today level. And then there is a number that is given in each subject. This number is tied to specific learning statements on that entry level for each of our students. That is that zone of proximal development, what they're ready for instruction today. This is the beginning of the building blocks and that roadmap to success. It's an equal interval scale that's independent of grade level that shows that growth over time. And that's what we're gonna be looking for as we give the map assessment later on this year, measuring that growth over time. So when you uh, get the MAP assessment, we want you to know that we will be giving it between two to three times this year to measure that growth. We have uh, an assessment in reading, which was given to our grade two through 10 students. We have an assessment in mathematics, which was given through our grade two, two through 10 students. And then language usage, which is more around grammar given to our grade three through 10 students. You'll get a map progress report today that looks very similar to this. And so I'd like to walk you through a little bit of what you'll be seeing. You'll see math and you will see language arts. You will also see reading in there um, and language usage. Let's go ahead and zoom in and just focus on the, the math and the reading here. Now, when you get this score, you will see numbers, and these are the RIT scores, which I, I was referring to. The blue is how your student performed on the MAP assessment this fall. The orange is the average for AES. It says district grade level. That represents AES students at, that, at your student's grade level. And then with the norm, the yellow, that is all of the students across the world that have taken the MAP assessment. We are looking at 40 million test events, and so that is the average across the world. What you will also see here is a student RIT growth projection. This is something we are keeping an eye on, and this is the goal for students. So when you see your RIT scores here, I'll take you over here to the right. On the right, you may have several test events or a single test event. If your student has been here for many years, you will see this growth over time since they've been here. If they've only been here one year um, since uh, for the past year and a half, uh, you will probably only see one event. Now we're focusing here on the fall of 2021. This student was in grade seven and they earned a 225 on the map math assessment. You see the 222 and 228 here. That's just a range saying that if we test them again the next day, they're going to score somewhere within that. But we're focusing on the bold number. And then, of course, you will see a percentile. Again, the percentile does not help us inform instruction, but please do remember it's not a percentage correct, it's a percentile. And the 50th percentile is typical performance for students. Now, you will see here below where it says mathematics goal performance areas. This is mathematics that's been broken down. Looking at operations, algebraic thinking and geometry, stats probability, real and complex numbers, we are able to break mathematics down a little bit further rather than just saying improvement in math, we can pinpoint what we want to improve on. The same applies for reading as you will see on this screen here. Uh, but also I want to point out the Lexile range for reading. This is an important number that we are informing our students about and we want you to know about as well as it helps us choose appropriate books for our students across the board. So this is the MAP progress report assessment. 
more than anything, we want you to know that it really does just provide that roadmap for students. Um, it lets us inform that instruction. It's not a test for determining mastery of skills. If you have further questions about the MAP assessment, we encourage you to reach out to um, your student's classroom teacher. You may also reach out to the counselors if you have more questions, and then you can reach out to me, Amanda DiCardi, or any of the administrators at the American Embassy School, and we'll talk you through it a little bit more. Thank you so much, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.